hi guys how are you all so as per the description of my video i am going to tell you a secret on how to increase the ca casting distance on your spinning reels now as per other youtube videos how to increase the casting distance you know they will suggest you a way of how to there is a particular way how you cast the rod should be long the reel should be having a longer spool something like this altegra but what if i told you that you can increase the casting distance on your already existing spinning reel that's right the reel that you already own how can you increase the casting distance on that is it possible do you think uh, it is possible to increase the casting distance i will tell you how it is done now th this secret i discovered couple of years ago that i think around seven years ago so the secret that i'm talking about is about reducing the friction on your braid that is right your braid is smooth you know the lower the diameter the further it will cast but what if i told you that you can smoothen the friction that is right smoothen the friction as the braid leaves your reel is it possible to do that yes it is possible so yes there is a spray that will help reduce the friction on your braided line the spray is darian ab60 now i've been using this spray for more than seven years this helps in reducing the friction on your braided line what this spray does is makes your braided line much more slippery smooth that is right once you spray it on your braid your braid becomes uh, slippery smooth it just slips off there is less friction which helps in increasing the casting distance on on the spinning rails now i have not tried it on a bait casting reel but it should do the trick so i will show you how to use this spray so first of all what you need to do is you need to remove the spool okay now keep your reel aside and only use the spray on your spool that is right you don't want the spray going on any other part of your reel now i'll spray it in front of you and show you how it works so what you do is you gently give a light spray on the braid you you will see these bubbles coming up you know a gentle spray all all around You don't need to over spray it. Once you are done spraying, you need to wait for at least two hours so that the braid absorbs all the all the spray that we just sprayed it with. So I have used the uh, Anabond 60. That's right. It is uh, it was earlier known known as Anabond 60. Now it is called as Darian AB60. Now there it is used basically in sh shipyards in Goa, right here in India. Okay, it must be used in other parts also of the country where they usually use this in the shipyards for boat building. This is very helpful spray. Now the other benefit of this spray is it reduces water absorption of the braid. That is right. The once you spray it, you, I would suggest you use the spray at least uh, every alternate days okay because the effect remains quite a long time so once you spray your braid you know now i can feel it it's already become slippery smooth that's right slippery means it feels the same way how uh, you know a slippery surface when you walk on how it feels so now the uh, braided line will absorb all the spray i need to wait for two hours and then i can start using this once all the spray has been absorbed if you use this uh, spray as i suggested I want you to you know mention it in the comments as to how effective the spray was how much improvement uh, was there in your casting distance while using lures uh, you can also uh, if you use braid even for bait fishing then trust me uh, the distance the cast of yours will increase uh, quite a bit so i want you all to mention me in the comments as to what was the difference and how done how smooth did the braid feel so comment me like my video share subscribe please